industrial only. system Good has inflicted the voices of the people in the white house. So we, America, would never do a thing like this to us. Fred Hampton helped set up the Black Panthers free breakfast program for children. And he coined the phrase Rainbow Coalition after he forged a multiracial alliance between Chicago's gangs and the, the young lords, the young patriots, students for a democratic society, and the Blackstone Rangers. But on December 4th, 1969, a tactical unit of the Illinois State's Attorney's Office supported by the FBI and the Chicago Police Department, murdered the young Hampton as he slept in his bed. Why would a 20-year-old black man be such a threat to the nation? Let me give you an example of teaching people. Basically, the way they learn is through observation and participation. You know, a lot of us go around and joke ourselves and believe that the masses have PhDs, but this isn't true. Because even if they did, it wouldn't make any difference. Because with most things, any things, you only learn by seeing it or participating in it. And you know yourself that there are folk in your community with all types of degrees, but they aren't at this meeting. Am I right? <laughs> because you can have as many degrees as a thermometer, but if you don't have any practice, you can't walk across the street and chew gum at the same time. And we got to face the facts. The masses are poor. The masses belong to what you call the lower class. And when I talk about the masses, I'm talking about the white masses. I'm talking about the black masses, brown masses, yellow masses, too. We got to face the fact that they say, you fight fire best with fire. But we say you put out fire best with water. We say you don't fight racism with racism. We gonna fight racism through solidarity. We don't fight capitalism with no black capitalism. You fight capitalism through socialism. We have to understand very clearly that there is a man in our community called the capitalist. Sometimes he's black, sometimes he's white. But that man has to be driven out of the community because anyone who comes to the community to exploit the people by making a profit off of them can be defined as a capitalist. And we don't care how many programs they have or how long of a dashiki they have because <laughs> political power has never and will never flow through the sleeve of a dashiki. <laughs> Now we had the same thing happen out on 37th Road. They came out the 37th Road and you know where our Breakfast for Children program is and start harassing some of the older sisters that work there. Now I say older, they was maybe like 50, 55. I mean, what do I know? I'm barely 21, right? But you ain't seen nothing till you've seen some of them beautiful sisters and they hands start turning gray. And they go tearing them policemen up, tearing them up. You know, these pigs come to them and say, you like communism? They said, no, sir, we don't like that. We scared of that. You like socialism? No, sir, we don't like that. We scared of that. And the pig just crack up laughing at them because they just love to see people frightened at the words. You like capitalism? Yes, sir, they said that's OK. We like it. I guess we live with it. You like your breakfast for children program? They said, yes, sir, we love the program. Oh. Well, don't you know your Breakfast for Children program is a socialistic program, a communistic program? And they say, now, wait a minute, Mr. Police, man. <laughs> now, we've been knowing you since you was knee-high to a grasshopper, and we don't know whether we like communism or whether we like socialism. But what we do know is this Breakfast for Children program feed our kids. You know, any time I speak in a, near a church, I like to say something about Martin Luther King. Now, a lot of respect for Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King once said that he heard somewhere that only when it is dark can you begin to see the stars. Well, I'm here to tell you today, we are no longer worried about it being dark. 